and welcome to the Georgia's Live podcast, the official podcast of Georgia's Majestic Lounge. You can go online to see what shows are coming up as well as purchase tickets at georgeslive.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and be sure to rate and subscribe to the podcast. Today we have Clark from Old Dominic Distillery out of Memphis, Tennessee on the podcast. He came on to talk about their spirits as well as the upcoming Old Dominic free concert series that's happening right here at Georgia's Majestic Lounge. And I wanted to go over the shows that are going to be happening. It's going to be six shows within the series, and it's going to be a free concert featuring some of the region's best up-and-coming bands as well as showcasing some of the newest bands in town. And each, each series is going to be bringing something different to the table. And let's go Go ahead and go through the shows that are going to be happening. The first one is going to be tonight, August 28th, with a few new bands, Bootleg, Royale, and The Candid. If you guys haven't seen these bands, this is a great opportunity on this free show. And Jenna and the Soul Shakers will also be on that one. September 1st, John Worthy and the Bins will be here with the Irie Lions. That's a band that's kind of new in the town with the Irie Lions, who have been here for a while and one of the favorites in town. So that's another great free show. September 4th, Lucas Park. Parker will be playing, and if you guys don't know Lucas, Lucas is the guitar player for Groovement, and he also plays around in a lot of other bands throughout the area, one of the best guitar players in, in the area, if not the planet. And Cadella will be on that show as well as Cadillac Jackson. So that'll be on September 4th. September 11th, more into the rock and punk rock realm with the Groaners, the Flems, and Yokohama Drifters in their surf rock so that will be on september 11th september 17th is another show filled with some newer bands around the area it will be the red lens who will be making their dixon street debut as well as kana and fry and that's on september 17th and on september 24th rachel ammons will be here with monk is king and you can go online to georgeslive.com to get more information on that series. But let's go ahead and take you to the interview with Clark, where we had him on the podcast, and we'll take you there now. Come on, buddy. Doing great, man. Doing great. How about you? Doing well. Thank you for coming on the podcast. We have your guys' uh, liquor here in in in-house and we'll get to that in a second but we're also partnering on this uh music series and couldn't be more happy about it honestly it's uh we are as well yeah and we've got six shows coming up and we'll get into who's going to be on those shows here in a little bit but uh we were talking the other day about old dominic and we were you know a few of us were telling some of the story but i thought i would get you on the podcast to kind of talk about what you guys are doing here in memphis and how you guys are in the market here in northwest arkansas and kind of give a little bit of history about you guys if you don't of mind course, kind of tell of let us know kind of what you guys are doing there in memphis yeah so um thanks for having me on and we are pumped to be working with you guys um being here in memphis and our kind of natural love of music of all sorts, whether that be country or rock or hip hop or soul or whatever, uh, you know, being here in, in the heart of that music city, uh, kind of yeah, feel absolutely. in Memphis is a great partnership to line up with you guys. So, um, yeah, old Dominic, we've been around for, let's say four years now, getting kind of getting spreading our wings to, so to speak across the country. Um, but we do a whole just evolving portfolio of spirits, um, craft spirits, whether it's uh, our vodka line, we've got a couple of gin. Obviously, we make a lot of whiskey uh, and have some beautiful Tennessee whiskey aging um, on site as well. Um, so, yeah, you know, we, we do a whole lot of things. Um, we kind of broke out of the pack of, of the, um, the idea stage into, oh my gosh, we're really doing this thing. So we have a 55,000 square foot uh, production facility and tour tasting room equipped with a bar, rooftop lounge, kind of the whole thing here in Memphis. Um, so not only do we make a great line and distribute a great line of spirits and products, we also really have a, a great kind of, um, you know, light lighthouse, light post I should say a distillery here for people to visit from all over the region including northwest Arkansas so love to play host down here um, in uh, in Memphis and uh, also love to share what we say share a sip which is one of our 
kind of tagline, share a sip of our spirits throughout uh, Arkansas and, and beyond. So, yeah, man, that's kind of the uh, the long and the short of who we are at Old Dominic um, as far as now. Uh, the, the history of Old Dominic dates back pre-prohibition. Um we were uh, producing, bottling, making whiskey all over um, all over Memphis and Arkansas way back when. Obviously, sh- uh, we were shut down at Prohibition, and then years went by the distillery set uh, kind of just as an idea, and it was dormant. Around 2009-2010, the Tennessee State Legislature decided to allow this distillation of uh, spirits again. Uh, you of course you had Jack Daniels, as everybody knows, and, and George Dickel, which is another well-known name, that they actually were la- allowed to keep producing and making. Um, of course, we've all enjoyed our our shot of Jack Daniels from time to time, I'm sure. <laughs> but um, around 2009, 2010, um, the state kind of warmed warmed up to the fact of, hey, let's let other folks get in the game. So we kind of started from an idea then. Uh, and now have grown into um, much more than that now. And so here we are here today. A lot of the products we make are our family and legacy heritage products, as we call them. So we are making some of the same spirits the same way that we were doing it way back then prior to Prohibition. And, of course, we're making a bunch of other exciting new products um, under the tutelage of our master distiller, Alex Castle. Mm-hmm. And she is one of the top female distillers in the country, uh, master distiller, one of 11 female in the country as well. So she is a truly badass chick. Hopefully I can say badass on this podcast. Oh, oh yeah, you can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she's a true badass in the industry. And so we couldn't be happier to be kind of led by her. Um, so what you guys have at George's is, going to be made by her and it's a labor of love for all of us so uh yeah man we hope you guys enjoy yeah, not so, only the partnership but also of course the spirits as well yeah absolutely and have before you guys were shut down at prohibition were you guys doing whiskey or were you doing the whole array of spirits as well then or did you guys kind of bring we were just more? concentrating yeah we were just concentrating on whiskey back then to uh, to what we know um we may i'm sure there was probably some Gin and, and other stuff being made, but from all we can tell, and I say we as, as you know, we have some old, like for instance, we have old ads from the newspapers and some some old crates and some old bottles and you know a lot of the old uh, ledgers and whatnot. So what we can tell from kind of doing a little, you know, digging back into history, we were predominantly doing whiskey. You know, a lot of it was uh, coming down from St. Louis or Chicago or whatnot. Uh, I don't know, rail cars and we were bottling it and distributing it out of Memphis. Mm-hmm. But the funny thing is we actually have one product that you guys, you guys have at, at the uh, bar, which is our, our old Dominic toddy. And that actually uh, survived the test of time, so to speak. But we had that original bottle from way back when. Oh, wow. It was still wax filled and everything. So we were able to pop that thing open, taste the juice, get it, you know, sent off to a lab out in California, and then they retrofitted the recipe uh, for it. So that is one of the products we make, which, as I alluded to earlier, uh, one of our heritage projects. That is one of the products we make today, mm-hmm. and we're making it almost the exact way that we made it way back when. Because, like you said, we had that we had that family heirloom in the form of that oh, bottle. Yeah. It's like a liquid time machine. And exactly, but we didn't know how to make it, so we we had to figure that out. But Alex was able to to now recreate that product, which is an awesome um, product, and I hope everybody can try that one. Of course, that's available in, at, at the bar and, of course, at your local uh, spirit shop. Well. Yeah, it's definitely here. I've seen it in here. So um, how far out are you guys going? I know you're here in Arkansas from Memphis. How Are you guys going out in each direction, or are you nationwide? Yeah, or? we are. We're, we're, in a, we're in, I wouldn't say nationwide, but we are in 11 states right now. Uh, most of the southeast, as you imagine, and then um, into California, up to the Midwest, to St. Louis, or excuse me, Missouri, and uh, Wisconsin, and then we have um, we're launching some of the Northeast uh, next year. We've got down to uh, you know East Coast as well, um, but we're spreading our wings. Yeah, you guys have been getting around. In. It sounds like. 
We're busy, man. We, we hope to be in, you know, 20 plus states over the next um, six to, you know, six months to a year. So, uh, like, our, our goal is to share share a sip of everybody when we can. So, growing growing pains for sure at times, but, man, there are a lot of worse things to be doing than uh, than selling whiskey. Yeah, I was going or to making say, if you're going to be night. busy in a business, that's probably a fun spot to be at. Fun spot to be in. Yes, sir. So, uh, do you guys participate in a lot of music events and stuff there in Memphis? At close up, I mean, outside of your, uh, I mean, do you guys do a lot of concert series and stuff with other in other markets or anything? Yeah, we actually, you know, what's funny and what why this is a great partnership is that um, we did a concert series, a really great one actually, at the distillery last uh, spring and summer, and it went great for us. We had some singer songwriters from all over. Um, all over the country, but but each one of them had a Memphis tie, hmm. and so oh, nice. we had a con- yeah, it was cool. So we had um, like a couple of the guys from North Mississippi All Stars. We had Don Bryant of the Bow Keys. We had Luther Dickinson. If you're familiar with those guys, like oh, we had nice. some big name guys, um, and it was a really kind of cool, intimate setting. We did it in our barrel room, and what we found was there was a real lack at least here in our area of somewhere where you could go to a concert and listen to a single singer songwriter and experience the music and not have somebody yelling free birds right in the back, you know? So it was a cool, fun, intimate setting. Of course, it was great exposure for us. And then what we did was really neat. And uh, maybe I can share this with you guys as we did. um, I'll show you all a a picture, but you can put it on your Instagram, but we did a, uh, we had all those guys sign a barrel, mm-hmm. and so we're, the barrel's still aging. We'll pop it open uh, at some point, but um, we had all those guys sign sign a, a, a specific barrel. Um, so that's going to be a cool, a cool kind of history piece, so to speak, for oh, us. Nice for sure. But of course, around the city and then even around the region, we love to support live music when we can because you know we got a great relationship with the, the guys at Stack, being very close to them. Um, around the city wherever live music is, is usually being played. There's typically our, our spirits are being poured too. So, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. I know whenever we were initially talking about this concert series, I wasn't sure exactly where it was going to go and, you know, who was going to be available and stuff like that. And I and a lot of bands reached out, you know, I, I kind of put it out to see who would be interested and I had a, a lot of interest and I'm really happy with how it's come together. We've got like a mixture of, you know, there's a few a show where it's a band's first show on Dixon Street. You know, they've been practicing and get getting to where they're ready to roll. And then on another show, we've got bands that's been kind of staples around here for almost ten years now. So it's kind of like a fusion of some newer bands, some older bands, all over. You know, different genres. There's indie. There's a kind of a more of a a punk rock show, and then there's some you know some Americana and some more bluesy and bluegrass stuff. We're kind of jumping all over the genres, so I'm pretty excited about the series. Especially you know you can't beat two or three free bands on a show. That's no, you can't beat that. You can't beat that at all. Well, I'm man, looking forward to to making it up there and and, and rocking out with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I had an awesome time visiting the venue. Uh, with a, it's very much like uh, old Dominic. There's a lot of history to you guys as well, which is cool. Yeah, absolutely. So I see on your website you guys have the story kind of a little bit more than what you laid out going back before. Uh, pre, uh, yeah, going back to it looks like 1859, 69? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So that's on uh, olddominic.com. Is there anywhere else that – you want to send anybody online to go check out kind of what you guys are about? Absolutely. So please follow us on social, uh, Old Dominic Instagram and Facebook. Um, you can keep up to date on all things Old Dominic as well as this awesome partnership. Um, but then again, you can kind of stay up to date with new releases, new products, new products that are coming out. Uh, where we are, whether we're in doing tastings or events around uh, around your area, or you can go to oldomic.com and you can sign up for our newsletter. Once again, you'll stay in contact with everything that is Old Dominic, but you'll also get a sneak peek when new releases come out or a cool thing in our research and development series. Um, and man, that's just a fun way to kind of stay up to date on 
on all of our products and where we are moving and shaking. So please go and uh, sign up for our newsletter and follow us on social. Awesome, man. Well, thank you for coming on the podcast. and We're looking forward to the series. All right, guys. Cheers. Thank you. And that is it for the Georgia's Live podcast. I'd like to thank Clark with the Old Dominic Distillery for coming on. Old Dominic is now in the Northwest Arkansas market, folks. Go to your favorite liquor store. Ask for it. If they don't have it, ask them to order it. Thank you guys for listening to the Georgia's Live podcast. Don't forget to go to georgeslive.com and see what shows are coming up. There you can purchase tickets for each one of those shows. And we'll see you guys on the next episode.